Business Focus with Kudzi Sharara on the Champions League Breakfast. Good morning and welcome to Business Focus. Right here on Kapi Talk 100.4 FM, Harare Sadbita. Good morning to you, Kudzi. How are you doing today? Uh, good morning, Tinashe. Good morning, Patsan, and good morning, everyone. Uh, great. Uh, thank you so much for Business uh, Focus. Uh, let's begin with uh, the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange trading update for yesterday. Uh, yeah, thank you, Tinashe. So it seems like yesterday, actually, the, the ZSE uh, recovered. Uh, it seesawed back into into the positive uh, territory. Remember, yesterday I was saying it was uh, trading like a, like a yo-yo, uh-huh. where one day it's up, the next day it's uh, it's down. So yesterday there was there was some recovery, especially with uh, your big cap counters uh, that recorded uh, that recorded gains and. Um, yeah, so 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 that's uh, that's basically how the the, the ZSC traded. Uh, it's uh, we continue to see it uh, seesawing back into negative and positive uh, positive territory. Yeah, so yeah, I think mm. I think maybe maybe uh, also just looking at um, how things are, are, are trading in in from um, corporate. Uh, the companies that are listed on on the ZSC in terms of how they are performing, uh, so you see some of them are really are really struggling. And one interesting one for me is uh, is uh, is uh, Trueth. Uh-huh. So uh, Trueth, it's one of the uh, listed companies on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. We used to know it as one of the biggest uh, uh, clothing retailers in the country. Mm-hmm. So we used to have your Trueth men. Then we had Trueth ladies, mm-hmm. and then we had. Uh, they also run Topics. Mm-hmm. They also used to run uh, Number One stores. I'm not sure if Number Ones. And then they also had a, a, a factory, a, a clothing factory, uh, Bravit, which they still have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Number One is no longer there. Number One stores. I, I haven't yeah, seen them. Uh, I, I don't think yeah. they are still in existence. And then Topics. I know a few branches that are in the Harare CBD. I'm not sure about uh, other 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 towns if they still have. And then uh, they've since uh, closed most of their outlets in the CBD. I know they closed the one that that used to be along uh, uh, Kwame Krumah or Union Avenue, Kwame Krumah here. Mm-hmm. And they there were two actually. There was men and and the ladies section. Both of them were closed. And then they had another um, two branches as well at uh, Eastgate Mall. They closed those ones. And then they had. Uh, so what they've done is they've merged the the, the men's and the ladies. So they now have one branch that I am aware of in Harare. Yeah, that's um, the First Street branch, corner First Street, and thing, and and, and Jason Moyo. Mm-hmm. That's the only one that is left. So news coming reading this morning in the paper is that uh, Truth has gone under what is known as corporate rescue. Uh, and, and and for me, that's uh, that's really sad. Uh, and and I've I've had a, a, a chance to talk to uh, to uh, the CEO, and that's. Um, uh, Temba Ndebele, and and he bemoaned uh, the informalization of the economy. He bemoaned the coming in of Mabero. Uh, some people would say they failed to adapt, and they failed to compete mm-hmm. with Nimarana. Uh, Nimarana, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so yeah, yes, but so. Do same with No, no, no. That's uh, that's Edgar's. Okay. So you see, they were, were competitors, uh-huh. almost equally competing, and uh, but but you, you then find Kuti one has now uh, one has now struggled, and it has gone under corporate rescue. So when a company goes under corporate rescue, what it's basically saying is that guys uh, we are f- for example we are, we are we are failing to run the company as it should be and they are asking for reprieve from creditors and 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 uh and 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 and, 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 the, and from their creditors to say guys for now okay <laughs> <laughs> but, but when you do that, are you not affecting the other company with Tivari and Udakwa Yeah, of course that can happen. Uh, that that can happen. Kuti, uh, yes, you you are actually affecting uh, the, the the operations of our companies that you owe because you overga kupkwerete sa. I say at the same time, Kuzi. Say you are not going to even speak up as pandas. I have no idea. No, it's not. 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 No, it's not.
chapter 6 uh, and uh, of 20 25 and 20, 25 june 2018 okay uh, and, and 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 it speaks about the issue of a corporate rescue it says that uh, it's a, it, these are proceedings uh, for the facilitation of the rehabilitation of the company mm. so it's the rehabilitation of a company that is financially distressed but you know you know you know it rehabilitates it how you are to for among my branches yeah, so you're saying, okay, uh, whatever Jasara is Rezo and this is Jasara is Rezo, maybe Tikambo Mira could fund an Azquereti and this is, and we bring in, uh, like in this case, Kunoi Anon's a corporate rescue practitioner. And it, in mm-hmm. this case, it's, I think it's Croy. Uh, I'm not sure if that, that's how they pronounce it. Croy is like uh, C R O W E. This is the corporate rescue uh, practitioner uh, that has been mandated to resuscitate the company. Uh, so a, a company under corporate rescue is entitled to a temporary moratorium on litigation. You can't take it to court on the rights of claimants against the company or in respect of property in its possession. So you can't go and say, that but I'm a property, no credit schedule. This means that no litigation can be instituted or continued for any debts or liabilities of the company by any creditors. So this is this is uh, this is what the position that truth is in, and uh, it's an unfortunate position uh, for 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 such a company uh, that we have known for years uh, mm-hmm. that has struggled to keep up. I don't know. Maybe you can tell us uh, from those who are listening to say, uh, did they fail to adapt, or the the informalization of the economy has been an, has had the informal sector has had an unfair advantage over them but, mm. uh, because remember this is a, a listed company that is that pays uh, corporate tax that pays other obligations that pays rentals and everything the same the doorstep yeah, I, I think I think if you if you I think I think you're right if you 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 compare um, uh, truth with Edgar's mm. because Edgar's he to expand a lot of my branch you know and they were in the same space and and you know they, they were operating is also uh, the period where the hyperinflation and then the period where civil servants were not earning as much because model yeah, it was a credit model mm-hmm. remember inflation. inflation and then mm-hmm. also uh, uh because of uh, hyperinflation and gaichitika yeah you can give him uh, pine hyperinflation and it, so for, for example what edgar's then came in and did which probably an truth should also have done edgar's came in and said okay this is this is what is happening this is what we are going to do vakato dzimwe hembe dzavanga vaina zvakato tidzitaku discount with 5 million us dollars vakata ano mana ngati ngo discount idzi yende dzibude titange panyowana and i think they've uh, from what i'm seeing I, I was in one of their shops recently just to see what's happening and and, and they seem to be doing well they are well stocked uh, something that you you, you don't uh, get in truth but also remember uh, uh, yeah i think i think i don't know what others can <laughs> Someone is uh, coming uh, on WhatsApp and saying that uh, I na I na na kuwarana kuita thin down the working class here. Yeah, they don't do the lunch hour because uh-huh. uh, give my biggest client to base yao anga to rima massive sevens and the working class is rutaura and there was a period where um, uh, the working class uh, went down and my salaries we know my salaries are higher at the uh-huh. moment and 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 my embeds are also already durega. Suti yao, mm. hey, dure, mm. yangere middle class. And so we, we have to look at that and say, okay, where is the middle class? Vashoma vayenda unotenga hard cash. Vashinji, mm. they were resorting to on, accounts. On, on, on accounts. Now they have to change that model and say, so we can't give them uh, on account. Iyo, i, paine hyperinflation, paine currency depreciation. Mm. How do you give someone, you can get $200. Paano zo badara, $200, yeah, yeah, worth $20. So they have to change that business model. And I think there's all, that also um, affected their their, their operations. Mm. But you can always, people can always then point to Edgar's to say, why is this not going to be Edgar's? And it, but uh, probably, uh-huh. in a deeper pockets. Uh, in yeah, someone to, is to agreeing with you to say that they failed to adjust their pricing system to match what was happening in the market. Their products were pricey 
and chased away a lot of customers. Yeah, so so that could be that could be a, a, a another reason as well. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So so yeah, that's that's one company that is listed on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange and it's in the news today to saying it has gone under corporate rescue. I'm sure it I think it was already suspended from trading on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. Um and 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 I think it will continue like that until uh until further notice. But do you, do you think with this uh, I've got two questions. Uh, on the situation ya 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 varukuta request to go under mm. uh Chikwereti chia chia chine nge chiroa in, Chine chiswa interest ya Rikano chino ngo uramba chiri pa chiri I think, I think chine pach, pacha itukwa Pane itukwa pacha itukwa a, a meeting inonzi wana, what, what do they call it uh -huh. uh, pane, pane meeting ya wano ita inonzi mm, a, a meeting of creditors and uh -huh. The first meeting of creditors of the company Will be held on the 27th of August uh, and, and, and this is The meeting is, is for provision of an overview Of uh, the corporate rescue proceedings And, and there will be a statement By the master of ICOT about uh, um, reasonable prospects of rescuing the company so this this the master of ICOT will come and say guys pane mkana ya rogu company ino gona ku rescue ikatsoka into into operation and then also creditors will also have to come with their proof of claims to say i'm old so you have to, to that you have to if you are old ne, ne, true, you have to go to that meeting uh -huh. and prove your claims because what for now what was the okay company in each quality check out nature cut nature cut nature cut and easy and the panel of a power point a committee of creditors and it was a lot of media one we saw very old in a truth part of a performer that committee of uh of creditors so mm -hmm. so there is gonna be a meeting on the 27th of uh of um of, of august uh and 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 then proceedings of the corporate uh, corporate rescue mm -hmm. yet true to uh, uh, form and the how do you expect them to survive? Kwa anima shops are reform or no but that takes and then suit you need a twenty dollars. And yet you have any get one fifty two hundred. I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure. Yeah, but 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 you know what? It's it, it comes back to the quality, you know, it's not sure. If you're an if you're an executive and is it if you're an executive I, I think I would go now because it's twenty dollars uh -huh. because not not no kutiaga shata but again also there is the durability yeah 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 suit you you know gara here can on the you know so, so those are some of the uh, but so no no the things that and then because then we go to jira na just soka it's all hundred percent wool. Rakato si ana ne 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 mangu ma 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 clothing material gadi rock China asiri asiri hundred percent wool and and stuff like that. So kune kune kwa mkuu ni niche market ya mbotoro na pata sani ya kuti. Wanga wakata kuna ono wanga wakata geta. I think the wanga wajitoa chiti working class and this. In the working class, I just to the working class in J and this year, this is to tell middle class and maybe uh, executive level. These were their customers, but those executives don't have to travel. I don't want 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 to travel. They are no longer coming there. So clientele base ya waka. Ya kato move and I I I have a way to shop in town. So maybe and how many my areas mangani they now need some branches. Maybe I, I'm not sure if they are still at uh, at same level. So but if you are, if you are talking about Harare, where else can you put a, a branch for executives for the middle class? Because my Harare C B D have a way. Nina is a Ramo, my recipe, Macho, my offices, my ginger, I got to move out of it. Mm. So these people who work in offices are no longer in, in the recipe. Yeah. So, and the cause, in light of uh, this true with the uh, story, what is the difference between corporate rescue and judicial management? Uh, judicial management, I don't know if I Mm -hmm. but I, I, uh, for now I can't g really give the distinction between the two um, uh, b b between the two and unfortunately mm -hmm. uh, okay let's uh, look at um, the, it's a Friday today as always uh, business weekly uh, yeah business weekly yeah. Uh, business weekly is out this morning and the top story there is that uh, what, what do you what do you call it the top story in in the business weekly is that um, government um, has Breaks against government breaks GMB monopoly. 
and is mm. now uh, and touts ZMX like yaku kuruzira eh, ZMX remember Zimbabwe mechanical exchange takamba itaura ne time itaura static but mazano eh, we have been getting information but time by one up X endo yao time uh-huh. post information with my auction is bag is rufamba say auction ye ye whatever my man but uh, what what this story is all about is that uh, government is now saying that uh, when it comes to crops GMB yani mandate to buy from those who receive um, presidential input but under presidential input scheme nema crops are going to kunana ada do aku concentrate ne GMB so zve zve kuti mafarmers haita kari mota atiku bazara ne GMB izvo zvo zvakungoitwa ne ava vari anda pfumvudza and 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 ada do vakubvumidzwa kuenda vane vari mandatory kuenda sa GMB kuti ara zvainzi akuna mumwe munhu anobvumidzwa kutenga zvirimwa and it's my crops a3 GMB, GMB had a monopoly. But government is now saying, no, we have removed that monopoly. Anyone is, uh, is, is free to buy uh, to buy maize. But from uh, ADA and those who, who get presidential input schemes, the, under the presidential input schemes, uh, those who deliver to GMB. Mm. And then the rest of the end I could ZMX. ZMX is a, is, a, is a market that is determined by demand and supply. So I got much bag a ucha sungi ronzi ndi sachete ku GMB wazo chema ufiti GMB ya cha iskundi badara wakunza ndapa market unu ngutingisa honi sa honi nindu kutingisa matanza angu aya and it in, 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 in price yangu ndi ish yeah. and it if you are lucky mabaya za kawaya kata no price ya tinashe ya hati arukutingisa na yachiba gendu na ifari da wotinga kwa hori it's fine if someone comes and sell cheaper than you unu ngu rambo wane yachiba gechako o oto tzikisa hochi mutengo wechibake mm. so ndo mtemo wapo yo kuti eh, kana chiri chibake kana hiri witi kana hiri chiri ya kango fana ne willing buy willing sell ya yeah, eh, exactly yeah. <laughs> black market ya chirungu eh ayo 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 black market eh mutorana eh mutorana but juri pa mtemo it's a controlled market vane ma warehouse kuti noto indisa chibake chako ku warehouse even usinga do chitenge so kono ano ma price harimo market ya chitaka dagwa but san ah chibake chaka nyanya kuchipa ini nchangwa ngambo chitenge so because nda nchi expect what you know it kati you can go and put it in there warehouse you get what is known as a warehouse receipt mm. that you can even use to borrow money i'm sure i'm going to marry to buy that but you can take that warehouse receipt what you know kwereta so you know what into the a new farming season you saw touching is such a last time because you're going to my price but you have used that warehouse receipt to to go and borrow again mm. from another from another what you know what you know in my food Eh, uh, in, in a way yes because vari kuti in a way vari kuti ayo waka eh, tampa this way as receipt and tine chibage chake kuno mm. eh tine chibage chake kuno but at the same time kuti is no batsira zvine benefit ye or zvine disadvantage ipi ku GMB GMB abana disadvantage because GMB yani mandate yongoti vano fanra whatever they, they what they want to collect is anons ma strategic reserves uh-huh. so i can know as senyika tinoda kugarati ne matanza akati let's say 300000 tons or whatever amount a, a number mm-hmm. that they can think of foot say 300000 500000 strategic reserves ndo akutengwa ne GMB kana wado hakwe wewe kuti ai nini even though ndapi wamkana kunotengesa elsewhere ini ndi chidongo tengesa ku GMB zvakwa auri asuka sazo badarwa in time usazo chema uchiti no e GMB asiku badara ndi because wapi wamkana kuti ndo notengesa kuzete max and notengesa any anywhere else mm-hmm. so so ndo mtemo hapo but vamwe vaichema vachita ah, manje you know e, market ye iyo yo willing buy willing sell like my price i don't know it's okay for example last year we government yenge yakati iri kutenga wit at 680 and it mm-hmm. but pa pa pa, pa zete mix up or pa msika uri free free market which ya it about 400 saka so, saka unono nge uri kudzikisira plus my inputs issue ya my inputs ndo ingo ndakwa address kwa tinashe because yeah. my inputs emuno am not durey zvekuti mamwe ma prices because my prices achanga hapa zete mix pamwe anogona kuda unofana na na surface yeku which is similar to 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 to, to, to ZMX but here in South Africa mm-hmm. where prices are determined by demand and supply saka so, unogona unoti safama unogona kuita say e ku 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 kuona price iri pa 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 free market yo yakanyanya kudzika isingaenda ne ne ma inputs wakaisa but again zvino pari kupinda nyaya kuti no kuno kona uzo introduce anonzi ma features market ekuti uno kona kuti tengesa chibage chako uchisati wachirima kuti nini ndichazoda kutengesa chibage chango nguva yakati even usati wachirima moto uirirana ma price na paya ma ando anonzi ma features market moto uirirana ma price then mozo tengesera na panguva yo but also you can actually keep it kuona no ma prices that are prevailing on the market at the moment are uh, too low ininda kashandisa 300 petani kuti ndi ndi buri 30 zvino 
price iri po iri pa 200 hazvisi hazvibude ndino ita loss unongo nochisiya chiri mu warehouse kusvikira price ya suitable for you so these are some of the things for example dai unzongo kwachengeta chibage chako bva last year Okay. Yes. All right, we're getting carried away with the discussion, <laughs> interesting as it is. Yes. But all the same, we have time to stop you. now. Time for the news. Thank you so much, uh, Kudzi, for Business Focus. Have a great holiday. Uh, see you after the holidays.